What's up guys, today we will be talking about another bone farming tutorial, both for endgame players as well as novice players, as I will show you the best farming place nowadays in raw bond as well as which teams can farm it in 3 turns. As for beginner players that are not up to date with the story, don't worry, as I will show you another quick and viable option. So before we begin, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the notification bell as we are almost hitting our first 1000 subscribers. So let's jump into the video. Our new best farming place and the one I'll be visiting in order to regain all the same quartz I've spent on Morgan, Melusine, Koyan and Oberon, especially Koyan, will be Oxford on Lost Belt 6, Avalon Le Fay. Surprisingly, this free quest is as free as it can get, as the strongest foe in the third wave has only 100,000 HP. If you have completed Lost Belt 6, that should not be a problem at all. As for the team, you know me and I will go for Summer John Archer and all 6 Bond CEs for a whopping plus 40% and extra 50 Bond totaling 1247 Bond per run and over 16,000 per day of regular AP. Plus QP and materials like Bells which most need right now for their Oberon, Melusin and so on. Now, you gain that 1 million bond I mentioned in the previous video in 61 days, 10 whole days less than the previous version, meaning you get that extra 150 saint quartz for 2 months of playing and that is spending roughly 5 minutes per day playing a game you enjoy. Also, you can obviously go for any arts quick looper or Melusine with double Koyan and Oberon. As for the novice version of the tutorial, you can go to Mirage of Dreams in Camelot like I mentioned earlier using an Oberon support, a Paracelsus for wave clear and any good single target DPS like Berserker Jolter or Heracles. If you can't afford to use 6 CE, you can use 5 with a battery CE for your main DPS. If you farm in 2 turns, yes, Mirage of Dreams is only 2 waves, so it's actually the fastest one to farm. You can gain with all 6 CEs 1163 per run and roughly 15,000 per day. Doing with 5 CEs, you still get 1123 per run and roughly 14,500 per day. So even novice players can farm materials as well as enjoy bond farming to aim for their favorite future banners. And speaking of future banners, we're roughly either one week or three weeks away from the summer event, since we don't know yet which one will come first, if it will be the summer event or the Grand Euro Fest. Hopefully Grand Euro Fest came earlier so we can farm more summon tickets and some more materials as well as preparing those quarts for the summer event banners. After all, not only we're getting lots and lots of good servants and favorite ones as well, the second summer banner is a literal banger as we're getting summer comma and oh boy don't miss it. And that is for today's video. Leave a like and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell as I have prepared the next event guides as well. So catch you later.